Hey guys, it's Sarah. You're watching Mickey Between the Pages. So today, guys, I am doing my April wrap-up, and that's it. I'm not setting a CBR for this month, you guys, and, I and also, I'm really sorry that my voice sounds horrible. I am sick. You can blame Naya for that. So, I only read three books this month, but I'm okay with just reading three books this month. I read a lot in the beginning of the month, but near the end, I couldn't read that much. I was focused on other things like school and I went to visit Naya and it's just all all over the place. So I kicked off the month with finishing the beautiful, amazing Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Oh my goodness gracious, preacher, brah. I can't speak words guys. This book tore my heart to shreds and then it pieced it back together and made it really, really happy. And and then it took my heart after that, and it stomped on it, but, like, it used an iron coal that was burning frickin' hot on my chest. This book was amazing. Everything I wanted. It's probably my favorite book of the year. I'm just saying that right now. Oh my god, I... This freaking beautiful, amazing, I can't explain words to you, like, it's, it's actually seriously impossible. Amazing. Please read it. God, yes, please. Five out of five stars if you did not already guess that. After that, I buddy read this next book with Laura from Magic of White Pages. I read it like in a day. It was so freaking good. And that is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Hunt. Oh my god! If I knew that this book was me in a book, like it's my life in a book, I would have read this book. 5,000 years ago, or whenever it first came out. If you guys don't know what this book is about, it is about a girl. And she's had a lot of crushes in her life. Every single time she thinks that she's done with these crushes that she's in love with, she writes them a letter, kind of like a goodbye letter to say, Adios amigos, I'm done crushing on you, we're done with it. And she addresses it, and she puts it in a box. She's done that with about five guys she's liked her whole life. And they mysteriously get all sent out to the guys. It is amazing. It is beautiful. It is wonderful. It is cute. It is weird. It is quirky. It's um, um, everything. And literally, I am so obsessed with guys in general that this book was perfect for me. And that's why I loved it so much. Because a lot of people say Laura Jean is innocent. I was this innocent when I was 14. And that's how she seems in this book at the beginning, but then she grows more. And it's amazing, and it's beautiful, and it's wonderful, and I just love it so much. Her innocence makes my heart just go crazy and happy and goody and feel makes it feel like I'm eating chocolate all the time. I, I don't know how that makes sense, but that's what it does. So yes, I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars, and I would highly, highly recommend it. And the last book I read this month, which was kind of a downer for me, is... One Silver Summer by Rachel Hickman. I was sent this book by the publisher Scholastic Inc. or Scholastic Press. I have no clue how to say it. Like, it's either or, I guess. But, yeah, this book was not my favorite. I didn't like it that much. I gave it a 1.5 stars. And it, to give you a synopsis about this book, it's about this girl and boy. Very, very different lives. Very, very not the same at all. But they meet... This girl's mom has passed away, and the boy, he's there for the summer, and like they're really close together, like they pretty much live next to each other, and they pretty much fall in love, but I just, I didn't like it. I've put a review on this book if you guys want to know more about it. This book was very disappointing, and I really feel bad that I didn't like it as much. But, if you still want to read it, you should if you want to. It's your choice. Your choice. But I just didn't like it. So, yeah. Bad. So these were all the books that I have read this month. Yes, yes. Look at the beautifulness of them. At least the first two, not the last one. So, to give you guys a reason on why I'm not doing a TBR. One, I have been reading The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater for two weeks now. I'm going slow as a snail in it. I'm not in a reading slump, I'm just like, haven't been reading because because I went to visit Nye when I first started it. Also because I've had like finals to do and like I, my, my school year is coming to an end really, really soon. 
and I need to finish all of my classes before like May 20th or something so I'm like hurrying hurrying my butt on them and I haven't been able to read it as much as I wanted to. The other reason I don't want to put a TBR is because I kind of just want to go and breeze through my books this month and not worry about any TBR books and just be happy about that because this month it's my birthday month and I don't want to set any kind of TBR, TBR goal. I don't want to do that because that won't be fun. My birthday is May 10th, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Keep doing anything and I will see you guys in the next video.